I'm going to really simplify your backswing to give you the confidence and consistency you want. Let's get into it. You get frustrated with what the backswing is doing. We all get bogged down with, you know, placement. What should be happening here? We don't want to overcomplicate this. There's two things I'm gonna give you to think about today that are gonna transform the fluid consistency. Number one is the tilt that we want in the swing. That's kind of like buzzwordy in golf lingo, right? Tilt, in essence, just means the tilt that we have relative to our pivot, okay? Now, we want a consistent move, but what happens is we tend to see people whipping the club on the inside and being too flat as we move around and we are losing our tilt, we are turning too much, we are sort of moving off the ball. And an over-exaggerated tilt, which is the, the pivot and the spine, is actually this way. And the simplest way to visualize that is with this drill. Do this for me. Grab a club, whack it across your chest like so. And without thinking too much, okay, I want you to set up to your imaginary golf ball. You can go and grab a club at home now. And I want you to make your backswing turn, whatever you call it. I just want you to make a backswing, obviously without the arms. Where does that club sort of end up? I would wager that you would find that your club is sort of pointing a little bit more over there. Now, it does depend on what club you're using, not across the chest, but in your hands because your setup is different. A driver is gonna appear a bit flatter because we're standing up taller. A wedge is gonna be a bit steeper but we're going middle of the road here. Seven, six, eight. The goal I want you to have is to eliminate a lot of movement this way. The only goal I want you to have is to move one end of the club down towards the ball, like so. Doesn't have to be precise, but I want you to start having, you can call it a steeper plane, whatever reference you have in your mind, but this is a tilt and it's this movement here, okay? You see Rory doing this drill lots, and this is the sensation. We point the club down, and the same feeling when we make a backswing is pointing the club down. Why is this gonna work? It's going to reduce a lot of movement, okay? Now, if you find that feels a little bit restricted, it's probably because you are not allowing your trail side, your leg to extend up and to kind of wind up this way. And you can try this too. Just stand straight. Now I want you to get your address position. I want you now to slide your left lead side down to your knee. Now I want you to kind of complete your backswing. That there is actually the ideal movement. But what you'll find is, it's only a few inches. We're not trying to do all of this. We're not trying to really make a big turn. It's literally that. It's a much shorter, efficient movement. Now, you can turn the feet out and we can allow the hips to sort of wind up and lift up and extend this way to complete the swing. But that's the drill I want you to do here. Keep rehearsing that over and over again. And from this angle, you can see the difference as opposed to here, we are here, okay? It might feel very alien to you, but I promise you, this is going to help so many things when it comes to the delivery of the club through the ball, because it's much easier to repeat. It's gonna allow the arms to hit the sort of repeatable backswing slot, and I'm gonna show how you let that happen. You've probably seen that drill many times before, but let me know if you're gonna try it. Let me know if you're trying it right now. Now we're on to number two. This part is so important. It's a tenant of the Art of Simple Golf and what I teach. It's about flow and allowing things to happen more naturally. Yes, we're trying to get a good pivot, but if it starts to feel a bit rigid, this is what you need. 
what we're going to do is match that body move with the arm move. How? It's really easy. I want the arms to feel super heavy, okay? It's not about trying to place them exactly where you want them. We want the arms to feel heavy. We want momentum to really help us. But we are setting up the pivot with that body movement, with that drill. That's how we're going to train it. But now, we sort of let it happen. The body is going to dictate and the arms are going to follow, right? That's the main sort of feel that you're going to have. And what you'll find is when you get it right, it's going to every single time, or more or less every time, no one does it every time, more or less every time when you get the pivot right and just let the arms get where they want to because they're heavy, you are going to find the perfect backswing position. This is where you need to practice a little bit because it's relative to what feels you have. Because if you overdo it and think, okay, my arms are heavy, you know, the club is going to be stuck here. It's like, okay, that's not quite going to work. But the little checkpoints you can have is, all right, do I have flow and momentum? And one of the easiest ways to get that feeling is to feel like you are throwing the club this way, that we are throwing it here. And that's why I like the sort of split hands sensation in this manner is because it sort of gets us away from trying to manipulate the club head, all right? From here, we are just tossing and throwing the club up that way, but I'm matching it with this pivot there, all right? That is it. But we want to sort of build up to it. So we're gonna have some small swings, but I'm allowing momentum to happen. I can feel the weight of the club. I find that my hands are a bit deep. Back here, I'm sort of getting a bit stuck. That is because I'm either not tilting enough, okay, or I am just being too much in the hands and arms, all right? There's your sort of checkpoint. If you're doing this correctly, every single time you pivot, your hands will be where they need to be in front of the body, just about here. So you can practice this at home. Just practice that movement, that takeaway to get that halfway position. It's not about trying to place it there. The move, the throw and the pivot will put you there. And you can keep checking this till the cows come home. So yes, there are more things we can cover on the backswing, external arm rotation, what kind of width we need to have. But I promise you, just start feeling that movement. Left shoulder sort of down, that pivot, and allow the arms to work in harmony without placing them. You are gonna be in a much better and consistent spot with every club in the back.